Hey guys, it's Movies with Bruce again. I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas and New Year's. You had some good family time. I know most of us have had some pretty good uh, time off as well. We just got off the air just a few minutes ago with Scotty Campbell of 92.9 Super Talk WFHG, where we're on there every Thursday at 7.50 a.m. Our movie reviews and a little bit of theater information as well. You never know what we're going to throw in there. So, anyway, let's look at this week's review. I'm still enjoying my uh, Christmas present for my nephew for my movie reviews. But let me throw a few facts at you real quick. Now, hear me out for a minute, okay? September the 24th, 2010, Aldous Chapman throws a 105-mile-an-hour fastball. 105 miles an hour. March the 5th, 2016, Blaine Sumner, well, he bench presses 885 pounds. June the 8th, 2009, Stephanie Hyder, she holds her breath for 11 minutes and 35 seconds. Holds her breath. Okay. Last year, Jared Young did 2,806 push-ups in one hour. Now let me throw a term at you I guarantee you you've never heard of. Hyperthymesia. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hyperthymesia. It is an overdeveloped memory, and only four people in the world are confirmed of having it. One of them is Bob Petrella. He's 58 years old, and he can vividly remember almost word for word half of almost every conversation he's ever had in his life. So it's an overdeveloped memory, and only four people have them. Now, I'm going to tell you that, you know, there's a lot of us that probably couldn't throw a pitch to the high catcher, much less throw a fastball anywhere near 105 miles an hour. There's some of us that can't hold our breath more than a couple of seconds and we feel like we're going to pass out. And some people, well, they can't remember what happened an hour ago. Let me say to yourself, Bruce, why are you giving me all these facts about people with these extraordinary abilities? <laughs> I'm glad you ask. <laughs> Today's movie stars Samuel L. Jackson, and he plays an artist criminal mastermind, Elijah Price, a.k.a. Mr. Glass. You see, Elijah believes that the comic books are just jazzed up Hollywood money makers to make money, of course, but at one point in time, these things were true. Now, that'll freak you out, won't it? So, you got to ask yourself, why in the world is he thinking about that these comic books could be true? All right, as you watch the movie, you're going to find out that Jackson's character, he has a rare bone disease that makes his bones brittle like glass. Yeah, no, it, this is not a superhero movie. I know what you're thinking. This is not a superhero movie. Bear with me, all right? Today's movie from 2010, Unbreakable, with Jackson and Bruce Willis. You see, Jackson is trying to prove his theory. And it just so happens, Bruce Willis has just walked away from a train wreck in where every single person on the train died, except Bruce Willis. Oh, and by the way, Bruce Willis doesn't even have a scratch on him. This is not a superhero movie. It's not. Bear with me. All right. These guys are just your average run-of-the-mill dudes. They're, they're not running around in tights. They're not shooting lasers out of their eyeballs. And they don't have some secret home or something, okay? For the most part, Willis's character, David Dunn, well, he's got a normal life. He's trying to raise his young son. He's going through kind of a rocky marriage. And he works a job of security at a local college where he wears a sort of a a hooded poncho cape kind of thingy. But it is not a superhero movie. It's not. This is strictly Elijah's theory, not mine. I mean, he's probably way off base here, but after a building catches on fire and collapses, an airplane crashes and blows up, and the train derails, one person walks away without even a scratch. Willis's character, David. Well, now, David himself, he is not buying any of this. He's not buying into it. He doesn't even seem to believe it the way his son does, you know, because his son 
at one point in the movie pulls a gun on his dad to try to prove Elijah's theory. Okay, Unbreakable. All right, it's an amazingly great break from Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aqua Dude. I saw that. I didn't care for it. All right. Anyway, you're going to get to make up your own mind at the end of Unbreakable and figure out for yourself, is Elijah right? Does David have some sort of superpower? Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But you get to make up your own mind towards the end of the movie. And I want you to watch this extraordinary, extraordinary thriller. And I mean thriller. I'm telling you, my kids watch this movie. And at the end of the movie, the twist... They literally were just looking at me and the TV like, this movie, I promise you, you want to see this movie. But watch how M. Night Shyamalan uses camera angles, body language, and facial expressions in the non-dialogue moments to deepen the movie. You're going to see one scene where uh, uh, David's son, after he gets out of the uh, train wreck, David's son runs up to him and hugs him and everything, and his wife kind of comes over and, and and he takes he takes his dad's hand and his mom's hand and he, he puts their hands together to kind of hold hands. And you, you see that. There's no dialogue, it's strictly just angles, body motion, body language, body posturing, and you're like, you know immediately something's wrong in the marriage. And the kid wants the, the mom and dad to get back together. So watch for points like that in the movie. Really makes the movie interesting. And if you've seen any movie trailers lately, uh, you're going to want to see Unbroken, and you're also going to want to see Split. But I promise you, Unbroken from 2000 with Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson, you need to get it, you need to rent it, and you need to see it. And you might want to look for this one as well. All right, guys. I hope, again, everybody had a great New Year's. Thank you so much for listening to me on Movies with Bruce. My guys have... Torn into the treats down here. If you hear all these bags, look at <laughs> oh, that's my big boy. <laughs> that's my big boy, and he's got him a couple of treats. Anyway, guys, listen. Ninety-two point nine WFH Super Talk Movies with Bruce on Facebook. Like it, share it, check back again. I'm going to give you links to Unbreakable, and I'm going to give you links to Split. And I want you to see what's coming up at the movie theater that makes you going to watch these two and be ready, okay? Movies with Bruce. Thank you. Time out.